All right, here's my next uh, vertical steam engine. I call it the antique vertical steam engine. It uh, was all the castings and everything come from patterns that I've made over the years and uh, it is now running. It's uh, powering a alternator, 12 volt alternator. V-belt puts out about 80 amps that alternator. I've got it connected to a 12 volt battery over here And it's really got a really nice oiler on it swift oiler very hard to come by And I machine all the parts and build the entire engine Except for the pillow block bearings right there. I don't I buy those I buy this pulley of course and that antique red pulley on the other side is antique. I buy that off of eBay. So I'll turn on the steam. I'm just running it off of one of my 20 inch boilers. The exhaust here could be run up the stack and create more draft when it's permanently installed. Just using hard pipe. You can run it right over to the stack and go right in the side of it and up. this uh, new valve on here that regulates the flow of steam into the oiler. If you uh, turn it off, then you can open up the oiler, you can drain the, the water out of it, and uh, fill it with oil too, because we have pressure in it, turn that back on, so now it's pressure to it. These valves here meter how much oil goes in to the engine, one on each side. I only have them open about an eighth of a turn. Got your blow down valves right here and here. There's water in the cylinder, you want to open those up at first before you start it. But I've been running it here, so it's pretty good. And I've just got a simple steam hose that you can buy on eBay run it. Five or six feet long. Uh, the engine itself has a uh, three inch bore, four inch stroke. And I'll uh, put an RPM gauge on it now. The RPM right now is only about 200. Let's turn up the steam a little bit more. I'm losing steam, I've been running the boiler all day. So it runs around 200 or 300 there. And about 1,200, 1,300 right there. Well, that's just most of the really valves wide open, so I'm just getting low on steam, I think, on the boiler. Because I've been running it all day and I've been watching it. Here. Yeah, see, it's only down, right down to like 25, 30 pounds of steam. Normally it would be about 50 pounds, 50 pounds of steam. Well, if anybody's interested in this engine, it's available on eBay. I'll get it listed uh, probably tomorrow. And uh, you can see one like it on eBay for sale, but this is the one that actually will replace that one. I build the crankshaft and the crank rod and the cross light guide. I built and machine all those parts. And I machine the cylinder and everything, make the caps for it.
and all the internal parts. Uh, my number is uh, my name is Ross. My number is two zero six nine four eight zero seven seven zero, and my email address is anacordasteam at gmail dot com. That's a n a c o r t e s s t e a m at gmail.com. Thanks for watching.